Over the years, Path of Exile has evolved to include many new items, currency types, and so much more. Along with it, GGG have introduced many quality of life purchases in form of stash tabs in an attempt to curb the bloat of stash space. But every fresh account still starts with the same base four tabs. This is how Path of Exile is, is meant to be played. This, this is how it... I've always wanted to see how feasible these tabs are from a veteran player's perspective, and if it could be a deal breaker for those wanting to play the game completely free to play. In this series, I aim to unlock all the map favorite slots and farm 50 Exalted Orbs on PoE's most popular game type, Softcore Trade, all with the base tabs. This is Fresh Off The Beach. Welcome! I'm sure you've seen the intro to this new series, and I'm really, really excited to tackle it. Uh, I'm just gonna explain a little bit exactly of what this new Fresh Off The Beach series is all about. Uh, and then I'm going to talk about how day one went for me. We played about 10 hours on this character, so let's just have a quick look. Played is 10 hours, 42 minutes, right? Uh, I'm stopping now because we've got a couple of internet issues, but Fresh Off The Beach is a series about a completely fresh account, uh, playing in Arch Nemesis, Softcore, Trade League, and trying to do as much content as I possibly can, while documenting the things that are frustrating, the things that are totally fine, to kind of empathize with or uh, emulate a completely free-to-play experience. Now there's a little asterisk on the free-to-play because I am giving myself the opportunity to spend four dollars to purchase one premium stash tab. Now I haven't done that yet on this first day because I haven't needed to, but that one premium stash tab is to uh, be able to list items for sale easily on the trade website. Now, when I say I haven't needed to yet, I've just been buying things. I managed to very luckily drop an Exalted Orb extremely early. That Exalted Orb meant that I could sell that uh, or I could buy Chaos on the trade website. Uh, and then I was able to gear this character here. Now you can see this character, it's a minion character. It is, uh, I'm following relatively straightforward uh, and similarly to Gazi's uh, Mage Summon Skeletons build. So summoning summon skeletons with the Dead Reckoning Jewel right over here, which at this point in the league is only three chaos, three or four chaos. Uh, and then, you know, we geared the rest of the thing with a pretty poor 10 passive minion large cluster and a five passive Blessed Rebirth Dread March right here. Uh, we probably put maybe half of the Exalted Orb or maybe a little bit more of the Exalted Orb that we dropped into the build. And we're gearing up into uh, tier eight maps and everything like that as well. Now, there's a couple of things I will mention uh, right off the bat. Let's just quickly have a look at my stash tabs right here. We've got one, two, three, four. This is exactly what you get given at the start. Uh, in this first one here, it's like my mini dump tab and also some unique items. I bought a Black Sun Crest to try to um, uh, try to get a nice enchantment on when I went and ran my Uber Lab. We didn't find anything good. Uh, but maybe I'll save that for another Uber Lab that I run. Maybe I can get some nice money off that one. And then my first tab right here, this is all my currency. And you can also use stash tab affinities even on standard tabs like this. So if you right click, you can select your affinity. So I've got all of my currency going directly into this tab right here. So if I'm on this tab, I've got some currency here. Click that, click that, click that. It will still go, your affinities will still work on your standard free to play stash tabs. Second tab here, I've just got a bunch of other stuff like, you know, all of the other stuff. Blight, Delirium, Divcard, Frag, Metamorph, Essence, Delve. I haven't sorted it because, uh, ooh, that's, you know, I, I probably should sort this. Um, some people's OCD might be going a little bit crazy right now. But, uh, and then in the fourth one here, we've got maps. Now, I'm only just into yellow maps. Tier 7, tier 8 maps at the moment. And you can already see we're about one third full of our map tab. I do theorize that moving on with this series, maps are going to be a real big problem. I'm gonna be doing the three to one, uh, uh, the three to one vendor recipe a lot, and I'll quickly show you that one right here if I can find three maps that I have. Let's have a look, Moon Temple, Moon Temple, Moon Temple. What you can do is you can sell three of the same map to a vendor, uh, one, two, three, and you can get a uh, tier four map or a one tier higher than what it is. So this will get me a cemetery, and that cemetery will be linked to Moon Temple on the uh, the Atlas right here. Uh, Moon Temple, wait, it's not? Oh, maybe they changed that. Okay, I guess they I guess they changed how that vendor does work. 
Uh, but usually it would be one of the ones that is connected, but apparently that's not how it works anymore. Never mind, but it will give you a, a one tier higher. Um, and it will give you the same tier higher every time. So we've got some t tier 7 maps right here. I've been using Kirak uh, pretty much uh, as much as I can. I've only got one single white mission left. Uh, and I'm a little bit stunted on the tier 7 maps right now. But being in Trade League, on this build, I can very much purchase some maps from the Trade website if I would like to. Uh, I'm thinking of just jumping straight into red maps real soon. My Atlas passive tree is going to be looking something like this one right here. We'll just quickly show you. Uh, this map right here. Oh, if it keeps glitching out. Nope. There we go. So I'm going to be going into strong boxes, just a little bit of shaping of the skies, getting some Call to the Grove Harvest here and here as well, then picking up Harbingers, picking up Expedition, because I will, once I pick up this Expedition and this Expedition up here, I'll be running Expedition Scarabs for some nice currency. Uh, and then we're looking at uh, Secret Operations and then Tamper Proof after that point there as well, then moving into Vault of Mysteries, back up Cache, and then picking up this for a total of 88 points right here, and then I'll be moving into the bossing ones here as well. Now, if you saw in the intro as well, the goal is to farm 50 Exalted Orbs, and to farm every single uh, one of the um, uh, favorite map slots. So this is basically a lot of bossing. Shaper, Elder Guardian, Conqueror of the Atlas, Cirrus, Venarius, Shaper, Elder in the Shaper's Realm, Maven, Eater of Worlds, Searing Exarch, and Maven's Invitation, The Feared. So, unlocking all of that and generating 50x on four stash tabs, and potentially that fifth one, if I, uh, that fifth premium to be able to list some stuff if I do really need to. Uh, and we're just going to be playing exactly like that. I'm missing my MTX, but hey, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I haven't really talked about the build too much, but uh, I'll quickly just show you at the end here. I'm sure a lot of people have seen this build, but let's just jump into an Arid Lake tier 6 map right here. I'll quickly show you. There potentially could be quite a bit of lag happening right now, um, but uh, uh, yeah, that's why I'm ending the stream right now and uh, jumping uh, probably into bed pretty soon. But this is the build. You just chuck down your uh, skeletons. They just kill everything, and uh, you just run through. Super easy, dude. Um, but yeah, so far, there has been nothing that has been annoying. Uh, that's because I haven't filled my stash tabs yet. My maps haven't got out of control. This has been super easy, um, and uh, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Now, it also has been very, very easy for two reasons. One, I'm playing a very strong League Starter softcore build, which is Summon Skeletons. And the second reason, obviously I dropped an Exalted Orb super early to be able to gear the character even further. This character could honestly right now be running T16s in terms of the power that it does have. Um, Do not worry, and uh, yeah, as I said, tomorrow, we might actually just be buying some red maps and jumping straight into reds uh, and getting some more map completion. That's all I really have to say. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the series, and I'll catch you on stream. Twitch.tv slash thisisbadger. Thank you so much. Till next time, I'm out. See ya.